Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. It is an absolutely beautiful day right now. Honestly, one of the perfect days and perfect weathers to be out driving a C8 Corvette. And I guess any day is a good day to be driving a C8 Corvette. We are back with the 2022 C8R Corvette and we're going to talk a little bit about something that I think is actually really cool. And that is GM finally kind of subtly acknowledging a design flaw on the C8 Corvette. And so first things first, this is an amazing vehicle. If you've been following the channel, you can see I have probably two dozen videos of the C8 Corvette, both this one and the last one. Amazing platform, truly just an engineering marvel from General Motors. But being the first generation of Corvette's first soiree into the mid-engine platform, there was bound to be some design flaws, and there's one that I've kind of been following and fixing through the aftermarket on both Corvettes that I think General Motors finally has acknowledged as a problem which they haven't done in the past. So diving right into what today's video is about, we are going to talk about the grill guards. Now I have a fully dedicated video on the last C8 Corvette of me installing the grill guards that go up from behind and then zip tied to the fins. So I'll link that up in the top right corner as well as in the description below. But today's video is going to talk about the fact that General Motors in the past has denied this as a design flaw and an engineering necessity. Specifically, Chief Engineer Taj has talked about this at the NCM forum. He kind of mentioned that for airflow on the track, those aftermarket vents will void the warranty. But hopefully the camera will show it now with about a thousand miles on the car, only a couple months, mostly just city driving, no highway. There's several dings already on the radiator. And I'll throw up some pictures from online of people that have put even more miles on the C8. My 2020, thankfully I got ahead of it with the aftermarket parts that allowed me to protect that radiator look and make them look nice and fancy. And a little bit of background context on why I haven't put the radiator grill guards on the 2022 C8 is I like to do things a little bit different between vehicle to vehicle, try out different things. Part of being a YouTuber is reviewing different products and sharing the comparison between various things in the marketplace to be able to say what's good and what isn't. So instead of doing the full expel on the front like the red C8 with the grill guards and then expo along the side, I have the pricing video, I have the one year review, you can look at all that stuff up on the history of the channel and in the description below. You can kind of get a feel for what that ultimately did after one year on the red C8. So on this C8, I went with the rocker guards on the side and the rocker extension, which allows a different kind of protection. Sorry about that car just driving by in the background, probably wanted to see what the car was. But this kind of setup gives a little bit different of a protection than the x -Bell. It's a little bit more cost effective and I wanted to share what like the long term ramifications of this setup versus the Expel was. And so far I can say that the noise that from the stuff kicking up and hitting the bottom of the car is reduced drastically with the rocker extensions as well as the rock guards from the factory. So I think they've been a pretty nice addition and a little bit money savings from the x -Bell that runs up along the side. And I've yet to actually make a video about my front protection plans, so stay tuned for that. But in terms of radiator protection, there's a couple options. I went with the C8Grills.com guards on the red C8. I really think that they're one of the best bang for your bucks. They are a zip tie one, but they mount to the inside as opposed to the ones that mount to the outside that eliminate the functionality of the front button. So with the C8 grill guards, I didn't have to worry about that. They are a little pricey at $120, but they come with a lip around the outer edge that protects the inners from getting scratched from the aluminum. And the best part about those was they were aluminum. They worked great over the years so that I had them on the red C8. And so this time around, I was going to go with another brand's grill guard. You can see this has no lip on the outside. So like the sharp aluminum edges actually can risk scratching some of the components on the inside. Again, it's on the inside, but still probably not ideal. And so I actually haven't installed these. I'm going to do something next week that I think is going to give a little bit of protection for even a cheaper cost. These right here, I won't name the company, but they're generic there. You can buy them online for 60 bucks. So about half the cost of the ones that I put on the red car. But I think this is probably 60 bucks wasted for me just because I don't like the exposed lip of the aluminum fins. This is actually kind of a little sharp, so it can risk scratching the inside of the paint. And so for an extra 60 bucks, or I can get something from Home Depot and put a lip around it and kind of make it work. But I do like the fact that this is aluminum, at least. This manufacturer was making ABS plastic early on in the 2020 model year for their aftermarket solution to the radiator problem. And I'll throw up a video here of my buddy's McLaren 650S. You can see that they actually have grill protection both in the radiator from the factory as well as in the side air inlet over there. And you see these kinds of mesh protection on Lamborghinis and Ferraris. I've seen them in person. You can see them in pictures online. So the question has always been to me is why did General Motors not do it? Was it an undersight or is it genuine necessity? And for the longest time General Motors has said it's just the way it has to be. The aftermarket grill guards, there's no way to make them function, let enough airflow in and still provide protection. But 
And you're probably saying that everything I've talked about in today's video has been aftermarket solutions. And yes, it has so far, but finally General Motors has authorized an aftermarket manufacturer that used the OEM CAD drops to build radiator grill guards for the C8 that are licensed by General Motors. And so Scrape Armor, which seems like a really good company, I haven't bought any of their products before, but they are now officially licensed to make radiator grill guards for the C8 Corvette. And at the time of this recording, they are in the pre-order phase. So they've kind of done the engineering. They've kind of done the testing. They're kind of wrapping up the ordering process. And it's a $50 deposit for a total of $399.95 gets you GM licensed radiator grill guard protection. And just as a consumer, the one thing I can say is these grill guards look very reminiscent of the grill guards that Paragon Performance came out with a couple months ago in terms of their layout and design that they actually bolt on instead of zip tie like the cheaper $120 to $60 grill guards mount up like but the one really cool thing about the scrape armor and i'll throw up some pictures from their website over here that i was just browsing on earlier today they have a quick disconnect system so if you are on the track if you need to take them off for whatever reason once you install them with their bracket system which i believe mounts to the factory hardware point but the way they advertise it is there's three push button pins that you can pop and then you can take the radiator grill guard out which I actually think is really really cool so if you are on the track and you are maxing out the performance and you need that additional airflow like the engineers behind the corvette have said that the openings provide then you actually get a lot of that airflow on the track without running the risk of overheating and maybe it's me just over analyzing it but i think the fact that general motors has officially licensed this product now and given their kind of seal of approval and worked in conjunction with scrape armor on this it's kind of an acknowledgement that that is a little bit of a problem area and I'm not going to say it's like a you know make it or break it kind of thing but it's probably one of those things that would have been a nice add-on from the factory to allow a good balance of airflow and protection. Another quick thing to add is the GM licensed radiator grill guard so the ones that cover the outer grill from scrape armor only cover this outer portion and they do not cover the inner which I think is pretty cool because if you watch my original video with the Red Sea, I only did the outers because I really didn't think that there was a high probability of rock chips happening from the inner because they kind of hit that little rubber. The light might not show up, but it's going to hit that backing plate and then lose all its momentum before the rock makes it to the radiator. And so I think compromising the airflow for protection on the inner openings is really not gaining you anything. So it's just the outer that I think needs that mesh protection to allow for the c8 to breathe but also protect the radiators from effectively looking really bad now i'm sure all people watching are probably wondering like hey what are you going to do are you going to spend 400 dollars to protect it or are you going to stick with your 120 dollars or even 60 dollars option if depending on what your budget is i still feel fully comfortable with the zip tie mechanism from c8 grills if i had to do radiator grill guards i think that's again the company that i would go with just because i had a good experience with them on the red c8 and i'm not paid to say that not sponsored by anyone by any means but that's probably a route that i would go for a long-term keeper c8 you guys all know that i'm going to look aggressively to turn this c8r into a c8 z06 whether it's in the next 12 months or whether it's in the next five years my plan is to get into a z06 so for this c8 corvette i'm trying to do some things a little bit differently so i'll have a different kind of front protection strategy on this car and then i'll compare and contrast over some miles that i accumulate whether the strategy on this car protected the c8 better than say the strategy on the red car which was more expensive but obviously expel provides a much higher level of protection than what i'm going to do with the front end of the c8r and so there you have it i think it's a cool conversation i look forward to seeing everybody's comments thoughts impressions in the comment section below because i've been talking about the radiator area being kind of a design flaw pretty much for the last year and a half and for general motors to finally kind of acknowledge subtly that hey it is actually something that you can fix through an aftermarket add-on and we're going to license it we're going to back it I think it's really cool on General Motors part and it's kind of exciting to see that the Corvette engineering team is not just focusing on the Corvettes to come but also backdating anything that they find through road testing through use for all these vehicles that people now have and the various pros and cons that they experience General Motors is kind of backfilling options for people to address some of those problem pain points. So hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big old thumbs up if you have not already definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button as always until the very next video i look forward to seeing all of you in the comment section below